So we are uh, Puerto Rican and French architects uh, based in Beijing uh, since 2009. So here we're presenting sort of like overview of our practices manifesto. So we have a wall installation with collages of different, of three different uh, sort of spheres of our practice from pure theoretical research in the form of images that form part of a publication of a manifesto on pure form in architecture to a nar narrative architecture projects that are like projects that are not meant to be built but they're meant to be a form of ideology critique in architecture and uh, and also some some of the architectural projects that we have developed for uh, competitions in, in Beijing and Moscow. I think that architecture right now is really diverse and it has been enhanced by contemporary mediums of mass communication. So I think we can get an overview here. Even if, if there's a, some sort of relationship be, between generation, you can see the diversity of projects and approaches and, and issues that architects are trying to address. And I think that pretty much captures the, the essence of our, uh, our, our contemporary uh, epoch, post-internet in a way. Which in a way uh, is still very anchored in history. And also, of course, even we, we get a very like monolithic reading of, uh, of, of architectural history because it always tried to be reduced to... It was always diverse, but uh, probably today it's even more diverse. Or it's not even that it's more diverse, let, let me correct that, is, is that I think that now there's more visibility to, to more parts of, of the world and also of different types of architectural production. Uh, and I think that's something also that you can see here too with the very broad uh, spectrum of, of, of countries that have been represented in a way, and cities and organizations uh, that are being represented. And that shows the capacity or the, or the condition of being really in a, in a sort of global state of, uh, of architecture. Like, so if the dream of modernism finally happened, of where there's some, some sort of discourses that can really travel around the world and can be developed in sort of uh, in universal platforms. Architecture, of course, can, can address issues, uh, but, but again, it's also, it's also a tool that can help us to, to identify first. Uh, and sometimes being able to ask those questions will imply that architecture is not really needed to solve a problem. So that, that also could be an option too. So, is still there on the as an option. Uh, so there's architecture is a very complex discipline, uh, let's say, and and it has many layers and many possibilities that can be developed uh, depending on the circumstances and the challenges that are being presented. What we've seen with the development of uh, neoliberalism is a, like a new form of architecture. All the corporations and design that's very new. So that's not very embedded in the history of architecture. So it's been losing the focus of the architect as a public intellectual, the architect as a thinker, the architect as a producer, the architect as a, as a theorist, the, ar the architect as a, like a social agent, uh, the architect as a designer. So in a way, we try to be that type of architect that can adapt and that can be inclusive of different, of different strategies and different, different ways of thinking but also that has an agenda that is thinking about how can you deal with society, how to move forward, but also how to, to, to rethink what, what, what's the role of architecture, what's the role of being an architect. Part of, great part of, of our project consists not only on, on developing ideas, but also developing the mediums that are used to represent those ideas. And also understand that even if people say that uh, that architecture cannot save the world, but uh, we know that architecture can make your life very miserable. So we have to understand also that it, it, has, it, has, it, go, it can go both ways. <laughs>